Hello. Hello, 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 hello. We have Hel hello, good teacher. Good evening. Good evening. We're going to start in one minute, so let's get ready. Okay. Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hola, me escuchan. Hello, niña Pedrina, sí. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Bueno, gracias. Sí. Bye. Ay, pa, ya me está corriendo. <risa> Pensé que iba a apagar la cama. Sí, es que estaba probando porque como esto cada rato se me apaga, ¿verdad? Ah, no, pues tiene que ser uno, dos, tres, probando sonido, sonido. Sí, cabal, 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 que sí. Bueno, ya vamos gracias. a comenzar con la fiesta. Sí, sí cabal. <risa> Eso le gusta relajo. ¿Qué fiesta estás hablando? <risa> ok. Let's start here with today's class right here we have the same eight people let me see okay let's start let me ask you right now uh asalia what do you remember from yesterday's class What did we do yesterday? Dialogo. Okay, how do you say dialogo in English? Um, los problemas, how problems do you, de... How do you say dialogo in English? Good morning. Lo, lo digo? No, how do you say dialogo in English? ¿Cómo se dice dialogo in English? Miss Asalia. Uh -huh. No, no recuerdo, teacher. Yes, we use that every day. Yo sé que usted sabe. How do we say dialogo in English, guys? Conversation. Conversation. Very good. It's a conversation. Yo iba a decir, pero no estaba segura. No importa si se equivoca, Asalia, por favor. No importa si se equivoca, okay. equivóquese, ¿ok? No importa. Okay. Don't worry. Now, we were talking about conversations. What were the conversations about? What were the conversations about, Azalia? Um, <coughs> donde utilizamos los problemas de conexión de sistema. Okay, how do you say that in English? Problem system. Okay, we talk about problems in the system. Very good, Asalia. What else did we talk about yesterday, Angie? Um, for example, <clears throat> say it in English. Chicos, tratemos de, de, de decir las cosas en inglés, aunque no se equivoquemos, por favor. Aunque no se equivoquemos para ir aprendiendo. ¿Ok? Aunque nos equivoquemos, no importa. Y tratemos de decirlo en, en inglés. 
Angie, one more time. Conversation. Um, uh, this problem, um, photocopy mesh machine, printer. Um, um, problem technical, what is it? And okay, and how do you say problems are uh, technicals? Um, how do you say that? <clears throat> uh, ahorita. Technical? Uh, uh, I don't know, teacher. Okay. Let's try, okay? No tengan miedo de equivocarse, ¿ok? No, no hay problema con equivocarse, para eso estamos en la clase. No hay problema. Okay. Teacher, eh, que... Yes? Sorry, it can be technical issues. Technical issues, ok. We can have technical issues. Technical issues, very good, Carmen. Um, Ana, Ana Córdoba. What did we talk about yesterday, Ana? Teacher, sorry, le envié un mensajito por ahí. Ah, oh, it's true. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. Sandra. Sandrita. What did we talk about yesterday, Sandrita? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What, teacher? Question? What did we talk about yesterday in the class? What was the class about? Hmm. Um, problems uh, the support the support um, in informaticos okay oh. Problems with the computer systems. Okay. Problems with the computer systems. Repeat. Problem the computer system. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Sandrita. One more, one more. Ricardo, well, what did we talk about yesterday? Hello, teacher. I'm driving in this moment. You're driving, okay. Yes. Let's see, Mr. Miss Concepcion. What did we talk about yesterday? Ahora, Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, conversation, mm -hmm. uh, problems, uh, 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 case, okay. and let practice it or uh, understand. Uh, okay, yes, good, good. That is good, Concepcion. Very good. Now we're going to continue working with the class. Right? Today is video conference number 18. How to use good for polite and formal requests. So we're going to see a lot of grammar today. And we are going to start with this topic, right? The use of would like to, right? And first, would like to with a verb and would like to with a noun, okay? Now, what, when we use would like to, we are making a polite offer. Okay, right. We're making a polite offer. All of this, right. Right. We're making, um, we use this to make a polite offer. Offer or a report. But the word, the word uh, would like, would like to, right? It's very, it's very useful every day. I want you to look at the examples that we have here, okay? And it says, 
here, for example, I would like a cup of tea. We have the first one. I would like a cup of tea. That is, would like plus a noun. I would like a cup of tea. I wouldn't like a cup of tea. That is, would like to plus noun. Then I have would like to plus a verb. I would like to drink tea. I would like to drink coffee. I wouldn't like to drink tea. I wouldn't like to drink coffee, right? Now, what happens here? And what we're going to do, right, is here, sorry. With, with the noun, we don't use the word to. With the verb, we use the word to. I want you to take a look at this. Take a look at this right now. This is the structure that we are going to use. When we have would like to plus a verb, right? And would like to plus a noun. I would like plus a noun. I would like, I would like money in my life. Right? I would like to earn money in my life. So we have two differences here. Right? So let me show you right now how we can make these questions, okay? This uh, statement, this sentence. We're going to practice right now. Would like to plus a verb, okay? Would like to plus a verb. So, I want you to tell me, Asalia, one subject pronoun. Tell me one subject pronoun. The uh, verb. No. One subject pronoun. Remember the subject, the subjects? What are the subjects in the sentence? All, all I now. What are the subjects in the sentence? I like. Okay. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en la oración? ¿Cuáles son los sujetos que utilizamos en inglés, Asalia? What are the subjects in the sentence? I. I. Okay, very good. He. He. She. 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 They. They. We, we, it, it, you, you. Very good. Because of a style, we're going to put this one right here next to she and he. Okay. She so it. it. We're going to put here the subject pronouns. Now, this this is what we're going to use. Let's let's use one verb. Tell me one verb uh, related to work, related to the office, Carmen, related to things that we do in the office. Check. What? Check. Check. Very good. The verb that we're going to use is check. Okay? Check. That is the verb. And I want you to tell me right now, Sandrita, choose one of the subject pronouns, please. Checks mm. a compliment? No. Choose, listen to me. Choose one of the subject pronouns. Ah, okay. Uh, she? 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 Okay, very well. She. Now, what are we going to do here? We are going to put here information of would like to. 
she would like to she would like to she would like to check check what what can you check in your office the ro the report she would like to check the reports very good she would like to check the reports so if we pay attention to this look at the example right we have here would like to right plus the verb we have the verb right she would like to check the report so the use that we need to have is the subject plus would like to plus the verb plus the complement okay that is going to be the formula that we could use to create sentences subject plus would like to plus the verb plus complement okay that is for sentences for positive sentences now tell me another example teacher and in yes. this case uh, she, he, it is, it's a third person or third yes. object. Mm -hmm. And the verb that we are using check is without S because you are using the auxiliary would, would like. Yes, I am okay. using, yes. And this is called, and thank you for your question, uh, Carmen. These are called uh, model, model auxiliaries. So since we're using this model, we don't have to change the verb because we only change the verb to third person singular in simple present. Mm -hmm. Okay, good question, Carmen, thank you so much. Now, tell me another example using this formula right here, right? Let's use this formula. Everyone, please write one example with this formula on your notebook. Subject plus would like to plus verb plus complement. Write your examples. Write one example right now. And once you finish, I need you to put that example in the chat. And of course, in the meantime, if you can, please turn on your cameras because I will call the attendance. And if you didn't have some answer, you pass on the attendance. Okay, thank you. Okay. For the teacher, uh, pardon, dijo que le mandáramos un en el chat. Yes, but first, write your sentence. Write your okay. sentence following this, this uh, formula. Did you finish your sentences, Adrita? No, no, por eso le estaba preguntando porque no me había quedado claro lo que había dicho. Ah, okay, yes. You're going to finish your sentence? And once you finish, we're going to share it with the class. Yes. Okay. Let me call the attendance real quick. Ana Gabriela Cordova de Samayoa. Present. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Carmen Lisette Castro de Chévez. Carmen Lisette Castro de Chévez. Eh, Carmen Lisette Hernández de Escobar. <laughs> okay, <laughs> me casó con otra persona. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Es que viste la computadora todo el día. Carmen Lizette Hernández Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Celia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. <laughs> Daniela Mirta Sandoval Avilés. Sueño. <laughs> Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Thank you. Eh, Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Presente. Roxana Yanira Mengíbar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. 
Present teacher. Jennifer Abidai Lopez Escoto. Okay, now I see that many of you have written your sentences. Let's see here on the chat. Let's check the chat. The first one in the chat, it says here, right? he would like to work on weekends, okay? He would like to work on weekends because it's going to be a repetitive action. Hey, Carmen, so we put on weekends. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Then Tia Salia, they would like to play in the park. Okay, good. She would like to eat a chicken. Oh my God, very good. A complete chicken? Chicken? Todo el pollo? To eat a chicken. I would like to read a book. Nice, me too. Very good. What about the others? Look at the examples that we have. He would like to eat chicken soup. He would like to eat chicken soup. He would like to work in the office. He would like to drink a glass of water. A glass of water. Remember, Sandrita, that when you have a, you don't pluralize. A glass of water. Let me put it here. You would like to yeah. eat Mexican food. Mexican is with capital okay. letter. Mexican, capital letter. Le, todas las nacionalidades se ponen con mayúscula. Nacionalidades y países. He would like to work in the office. Okay. He would like to eat chicken soup. Chicken soup. Okay. What else? What are other examples? Concepcion, Leida, Pedrina, your examples? Emerson, your examples? Sí, puede decir, yo te voy a hacer también. Es una mía, teacher. Mandarinas. Emerson, I would like to process the production data. Thank you, Emerson. Very good. Concepcion, what is yours? I would like to read a book. Okay, very good. Pedrina, did you send yours? Okay. She would like to watch a movie. To watch a movie. Very good. They would like to watch TV. Very good. I would like to watch a series on Netflix. Very good. Now, we have our examples here. Look at the examples that your classmates made, right? So we can write them also for our vocabulary. Now, look what I'm going to do right now. I am going to write an example in the negative form, okay? I am going to use the same sense, okay? Look at the example I am going to make. Pedrina. She would like to eat pizza. Oh, yes, I would like to eat pizza. Good. No. <laughs> she, Tengo yes, hambre. Yeah, me too. Now, look at the example that we are going to make in negative. She would not like to check to check the reports. She would not like to check the reports. This is the negative form of this formula. She would not like to check the reports. She wouldn't like to check the reports, right? Now, the question, how can you think we can make the question? We're going to make the question here using would at the beginning, right? Would she like to check the reports? Would you like to check the reports? Yes, she would. No, yes, she will. She wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. Right. Now, let's go ahead and make the examples that you just made in the chat. This we would like to speak English. I would like to speak French or Italian. 
<laughs> okay, now let's make our examples here in negative. The same examples that you just wrote, los mismos ejemplos, así como hice yo. The same example, put it in negative and make a question. Okay? Put it in negative and make a question. The same example. El mismo que le enviamos. Yeah, the same. Yes, el mismo, the same. In negative and in question. Okay. I would not like to process the production page. Okay, good, Emerson, quick. Very good. And what would be the question, Emerson? What would be the question? Let's see the example. Would she like to watch a movie? She would like to watch a movie. Very good. Would I like to process the production data? He would not like to eat chicken soup. Okay, very good. Make it a question too, Alexis. Make it a question too. He wouldn't like to drink a glass of water. Would you like to eat Mexican food? No, I don't like Mexican food. Would she like to eat chicken? Yes. Now, chicken, spelling, please, Celia. Chicken, how do you spell chicken? He wouldn't like to drink a glass of water, like my mom. My mom doesn't like to drink water. He would not like to work in the office. Would he like to work in the office? Okay, very good. Let's see before that. She would oh Pedrina, do not use do, only not, only es, not. Sí, es cierto, me equivoqué, teacher. Ya, ya vi donde <laughs> da es, verdad, das. Yes, she Ahí. would, not she would. Would he like to eat chicken stuff? Very good. Okay, very nice. We're, we're getting better with the examples. This was quick. Would he like to drink a glass of water? Excellent job. Now. Wood is pretty easy, right? Do you have a question about wood right now, the structure or, or the meaning? Yes, I would. <laughs> Excellent, Andy. Okay. Do you have a question about the use of wood? ¿Cuándo lo van a utilizar? ¿Cómo lo van a utilizar? Oh. Mm. Como para pedir permiso, ¿verdad, Ticha? Mm, no permiso. Para, oh. para, offer, para hacer offers, okay? to make offers, or to make reports. Right? Okay. To make reports, to make offers, right? But it's always in a polite way. Now, this is would like to plus a verb. Then we have would like to, the... ¿Ya copiaron esto? ¿Lo puedo borrar? Eh, no, teacher, todavía no. Espérenme, espérenme. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Vale, cuidado. Ok. Now, may I continue, please? I would not like to read the book. Would I like to read the book? Excellent. Continuamos, chicos? Yes. Yes? Okay. Now, we're going to see here would like plus a noun. Okay? Plus a noun. So what are we going to do here, right? With would like plus, plus a noun, plus a complement, right? <laughs> now, we, we're going to work here with this. Let me erase this one. Now, subject plus would like plus a noun plus a complement. This one, it has a different meaning, okay? When we use would like, would like plus a noun, right? What we're doing here, guys, is that we are giving information, right? For things that we want, right? In a different way or things that another person uh, wants to have. For example, Right, if I say would like, I would like uh, I would like a salad for my lunch. I would like a salad for my lunch. Then I have I, the subject, would like is the model of the word using. And then a salad is the noun, and then we have a complement, right? Chair. Sure. Ah, yes? In this case, is, is a or an noun? A noun. It depends on if, uh, if the noun is, is beginning with a, a consonant, you use a salad, but yeah. The, if the noun start with a uh, vowels, yeah, uh, you use an n. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here I can ask you also, for example, uh, Celia would like. Um, Celia would like uh, let's coffee. Put, a coffee. Would like a cup of coffee at the moment. Okay. Celia would like a cup of coffee. Right? So we have there something that she likes. But we can also, when we use this would like, right? We can also use it for questions in which we offer something. Carmen. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? I am offering something to her, right? I can say, Carmen, would you like a cup of tea? And she'll say, yes, I would, or no? Yes, I, I would. would. Yes, I would. Okay, here you are, right? I can say, uh, Angie, would you like an extra English lesson? Yes, I yes, would. Yes, I like, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, yes? O sea, en esta otra parte, eh, um, solo lleva good like, no el tú, ¿verdad? Exactly, because we're using a noun. We are not uh -huh. using a verb. So okay. it's pretty much. Cuando, uh -huh. Una cinco páginas. Cuando lleva el verbo es que tiene que llevar tú. Do you like to? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Now, pretty much when we say, right, uh, would like, right, it's like want, but in a more, more polite way, right? We use would like 
to say want in a more polite way, right? Let me show you here. I am going to put here the U so we don't forget. We use would like. To say want in a more polite way, especially when we are making an offer or a request. Okay, that's when we use it. That's what we're using right now. Right? For example, I can say, I want a salad for my lunch. I want a salad for my lunch. And that is okay. But I want to be more polite. I would like a salad for my lunch. I Celia, would like a salad for my lunch. Celia would like a cup of coffee at the moment. Celia, say, for Celia example, would you use this. Like this. a cup of coffee at the moment. Please. Okay. Yes, eh, Carmen. Yes. For example, in the restaurant, it's common to hear this statement. Right. Exactly. In the in the right. restaurant, right. in the restaurants is when we usually listen to this type of statement. That is correct. In the restaurants, in the coffee shops, right? Also in the stores, right? And at school as well. At school or at work, in places where formal speaking is required. In places where formal speaking is required. Right. For example, if you go to the bank, they may say, would you like to take a seat? Would you like to take a seat? Then you use the previous statement, right? Yes, I would like to take a seat. Would you like a glass of water while you wait? Yes, I would like a glass of water, right? Everything has to be very formal. So look at the form here. And now I want you to write an example, right? Use would like plus a noun plus complement, right? To make an offer or a request, right? Let's think that we are in a restaurant. Let's think that we are in the bank or in a public space when we need something, right? When we are requiring something or when we are offering something. Let's write the examples in the chat right now, please. One example, one example. Okay, let's try the example. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> Let's see the examples. No examples yet? Oh, yes. I would like a park in my city. Okay. That is a big request. Okay, that is a big request. Good. Okay. 
they would like open the folder. But, Sandrita, open is a verb. Open is a verb. So in that case, they would like to open the folder. You would like a glass of coffee, a cup of coffee, Angie, a cup okay. of coffee. For okay, the glass, teacher. a glass of coffee. Ah, yeah, 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 yes. You would like a glass <laughs> of Coca-Cola. Es que quería leche, pero me iba a dormir si tomo leche. <laughs> she would like a glass of Coca-Cola, but at the always, mm -mm, delete that information. Okay. I would like a gym in my house. <laughs> nice. That would be fancy, Emerson. That is fancy. Would you like to drive in the morning? Delia, that is correct, but it, this is for the previous example. Uh, Daniel, no, because I work in the office. What do you mean I work in the office? I would like a table in my workplace. Oh. Nice lady. Huh? Daniel, what do you mean I work? ¿Qué significa I work, Daniel? She would like a psychological therapy in your house. <gasps> Concepción, como lo supo. Okay, you would like a cup of coffee. Coffee, NG, a spelling of coffee. Asalia Yay. would like a hamburger with French fries. With fries. With papitas, with fries. She would like a milk, a milk, like milk, milk, Pedrina. She would like milk with bread or some milk with bread. Milk. Would I like a game in my house? Yes. You would like a lot of sugar and your coffee. <gasps> coffee, a spelling of coffee, a spelling the coffee, chicas. Coffee, double E. He would like a lot of sugar in the coffee. Very good. Now, would you like a cappuccino? I would like. I would like, no, a speak is a verb, Angie. A speak is a verb. Angie? Excuse me, teacher. No tiene que ir un verbo, ¿verdad? Sino que solo es para... A noun. Okay. A noun. Okay, 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 teacher. Okay. okay. No. Cappuccino. Do, Cappuccino. Do we understand? Yes, Alexis? Eh, yo tengo un, ¿cómo le digo? Tengo ah. una, no sé si podría eh, compartir algunos a now. Esos son ejemplos de now los que están dando, Alex. Eh, correcto, pero tal vez algunos. Quiero ver. Estos tres son ejemplos con now. Sí, sí, correcto, lo sé, o sea, lo que voy es esto, Bacup. Eh, es taza uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. entonces a esta parte es la que, a que yo me refiero porque yo, bueno en lo personal no tengo mucho conocimiento de, de tantos he, he ido copiando algunos de los que han puesto los compañeros ¿verdad? porque para hacer más adelante oraciones me imagino que nos pueden servir yes, exactly thank you you're welcome pero no, no entiende qué quiere que le comparta. Eso no entendí. Ah, ok. Me explico, me explico. O sea, en, esta, en este tipo de oraciones vamos a utilizar 
eh, such as eh, you like eh, y a noun, ¿verdad? Entonces, en lo personal, yo no tengo mucho conocimiento a los a noun. O sea, sé que el, 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 la oración va a ir, va a ir, se va a complementar con algunos a noun, pero eh, yo lo único que estoy haciendo es copiar algunos de los que los compañeros han puesto. O sea, no tengo variedad, por decirlo así. Ok. Uh -huh. Alexis, everything that you see around is a noun. Everything that you can mention, that you can describe, is a noun. Pen is a noun. Mascara, noun. Correcto. O sea, podrían ser las cosas. Marker, noun. Wall, noun. Yes. Computer, noun. Cell phone, noun. Book, noun. Everything that you can name is a noun. Todo lo que Thank usted you. pueda nombrar es un noun. Todo. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Now we have a lot of vocabulary. I'm pretty sure you know what the noun is. I would like Mexican food. Very good. Now, do we understand this part right now, guys? ¿Se entiende este, este, este ejemplo? Y como por qué, eh, Angela, ¿por qué Angela quitó la A, ah, teacher? No entendí. Oh, because a Mexican food is not possible. Remember, Leida, that food is uncountable. And we don't say with uncountable nouns, we don't use a and an. Uh -huh. Only with countable nouns. Uh -huh. So we cannot say a Mexican food. Los, num los nombres, los nouns que son no contables, no los vamos a utilizar con a y an. Okay? Solo los que se pueden contar. Y food no se puede contar. No podemos decir a Mexican food, a Salvadoran food. Would you say, I would like mm, yeah. Mexican food? Okay. We would like vacations. Yes, of course. I would like vacations too. Okay. What else? Do you have a question about this? Thank you, Leida, for your question. Thank you, Alexis, for your question. You would like China food. Very good. Chicos, necesito saber y confirmar si entendieron o no entendieron y no me responden. Yo no puedo saber si me entendieron o no me entendieron si no me responden. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Let's go ahead. Aquí and... equivocándome, pero estoy aprendiendo. Exacto, es que así es. Es correcto. No yes, lo van teacher. A... No lo van a saber todo ya. Es la primera vez que lo conocen. No se preocupen. So. We start here, we continue with would like, and we're going to do an example right now, right? An exercise. Can you see my computer? <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, I see. Yes. Okay. Yes. The number yes. one says, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Right? I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. What would you put in number two? It's a question, of course, right? It's a question. How can you make this question here? With number two. What? Um, we start with what? Well, well, I. Would you like a break? Would you like a break? Excellent job. Excellent job. Would you like a break? Let me put it here. Would, oh, sorry. Would you like a break? A break. Would you like a break? Yes. We? Well, how are we going to make the short answers? Remember the short answers here? Yes. 
Yes. Yes, we yes. could. Yes, we, we would. Very good, Sandrita. Yes, we would. Excellent. Yes, we would. Would you like a break? Yes, we would. Right. And in the same way, we're going to do the others. Let's pay attention if it's a noun or if it's a verb, okay? If it's a noun or if it's a verb. Let's go ahead and do this individually, okay? We're going to do it individually so we can check our own understanding of, of this process. Let's do it individually. Remember, we might use would like or would like to. Go ahead and share our examples. Let me know if you have questions. <laughs> Your sentence is totally correct, Angie. <laughs> okay, Peter, thank you. Can you see the presentation right now? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Because I'm having problems with my internet. So let me know if you cannot see it or you cannot hear me. El pan. <laughs> It's not in my house. It's not in my house. Finish the chat. You finish very well. Excellent. Let's wait for the others for a moment, okay?
Okay, let me know if you have questions, please. If you don't understand a word, if you want to know the word, please let me know. Hemos terminado, teacher. Teacher, ¿qué es Melbourne? What is? Melbourne. What is? Ah, Melbourne is a city. Mel Melbourne is a city, like saying a ticket to San Salvador, a ticket to Melbourne. To, a ticket to, Mel to Melbourne is a city. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, sorry. Uh, the exercise is complete with sentences. Uh, with would 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 like or the other and bear. Would like or would like to. Uh, only only two options uh right now yes yes it would like or would like to exactly you are going to choose between them okay mm -hmm. remember would like plus a noun would like to plus a verb okay Did you finish? Can we check the answers? Okay, let's check the answers. Let's see what happens with the answers, okay? Let's check here, number three. Number three, please help me out. Uh, Sandra, I don't understand this. I am. Um... I don't know. I, I would like some help with my homework. I would like some help with my homework, okay? I don't understand this. I would like some help with my homework. Repeat, Sandrita. I don't understand this. I would like some help with my homework. Very good. Number four, please help me out, Carmen. Four, Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. 
Okay. Patrick would like to. Right. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Very good. Number five. Who wants to do number five? Who wants to do number five? Hi, teacher. Okay. Eh, by, si no me equivoco, va, like, don't like. Okay, one more time, please. Repeat. Eh, like, like, don't like this at the beginning. Espérame, espérame, aquí estoy viendo en este lado. No, you like. Yes, Would like, uh -huh. eh, eh, No, eh, en la parte de, va separado, en la parte de medio va Tom. Would like, Tom. Okay, would like Tom. Or like Tom. Eh, no. En el chat se lo voy a poner, dice, espérame. Get ready for number six, Emerson. Get ready for number seven, Leida. Number six. Can I help you? Yes. I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Okay. I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Okay. I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Repeat. I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Can I help you? Repeat. Can I help you? Help you. Yes. Help you. Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Very nice, very nice. Seven. Leida, then get yes, ready for friends. number eight. Get ready, Celia. Nine, Asalia. Ten, Angie. Eleven, uh, Pedrina. 12, Amilcar. Okay, I will check right now, Leida, the one that Alexis is missing. Okay, would Tom like? Okay. Um, Give me a moment. Okay, would Tom like come with us? Yes, he. Alexis. Me falta aquí. Alexis. Estoy, teacher. Eh, yes, he eh, like. What? Wow. Yes, yes Wow. Yes, he would. Wow. Okay, yes, he would. Okay, now let me ask you this, Alexis. This word, come, is this a verb or a noun? Es... No es verbo. What? Yes. no escucho, teacher. Is this come? Is this a verb or a noun? It's a verb. It's a verb. Okay. Verb, sí, two. Okay. According to what we practice, what is the structure that I should use with a verb? No escucho, teacher. Espera.
Okay. Uh, let's see. Help me out, Emerson, in number five. If I you. Okay. Let, let's finish number five and then we do number seven, okay? With number five, Emerson, I have would Tom like come with us. Is this correct, Emerson? Number number five. Would Tom like come with us? Like ah. Uh. Like ah. Uh. So come is a noun? No, 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 no. Um would Tom like. What is the form we use with the verb? Miren sus, sus apuntes, por favor. What is the form that we use with a verb? Like to. We like to. Very good. Would Tom like to come with us? Because come is a verb, right? Very good. Yes, he would. Now, Leida, number seven. My friends would would like to come to the party next week. Would like to come to the party next week. Very good. Would like to come to the party next week. Excellent. Celia, number eight. Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I work. Okay. Would you like to come to work? Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Repeat okay. with me. I wouldn't. 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 Very good. Number nine, Asalia. Would you like to chocolate? Okay. Would you like, would you like the chocolate? Okay, Asalia. Chocolate. Chocolate is a verb or a noun? No. 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 No, no what? No. Is it a verb or a noun? Chocolate. No. It's a noun, okay. Can I use to with a noun? No. Okay. No. Solamente so, would you like. Very good. Would you like chocolate ice chocolate cream? Chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice vanilla cream. Vanilla ice cream. Very good. Excellent pronunciation, Asale. Good job. Number 10, Angie. Um, would you like to see a movie? Excellent. Would you like to see a movie? Uh, no. I I would not. Okay, no, I would not. Okay. What is the other pronunciation for this? Wouldn't. Repeat with me. Wouldn't. 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 Okay, very nice. Eleven, Pedrina. What would you like to do tomorrow? Wonderful job. What would you like to do? What would you like to do tomorrow? tomorrow. What would you like to do tomorrow, Sandrita? What would you like to do tomorrow? Um, I would like at the park. I would like to go to the park. To right? go at the park. To go to the park. Excellent, Sandrita. And number 12, Amilcar. Uh, who would like some candy? Who would like? Who would like to some candy? We would. We would. We would. Okay. Now, Amilcar. Let me ask you, some candy, is that a verb or a noun? Some candy, verb or noun? Uh, 
America? Yes. Some candy. It's a verb or is a noun? A noun. It's a noun. So what, what happens when we have a noun, America? Can we use to or no? Podemos usar to, would like to, con un noun o solo con un verbo. Amiga. Solo con un verbo. Only with the verb. Very good. So, who would like some candy? Who would like some candy? We would. I'm from a piñata. Right. Very good. Excellent job. So, we have here the different answers. Do you have questions about this exercise? Please let me know. If you have questions about this exercise, let me know right now. Yes. No, uh, teacher. Okay, thank you, Salia. Uh, what is your question, Ricardo? Uh, I don't listen. Uh, uh, Cuando eh, using would like or would like to, it's for. ¿Cómo lo voy a usar? Ah. O en qué. Or what situation or would like it's for. For action or, or what? Don't worry, don't worry. In this case, right, let me tell you that uh, we are going to use would like for offers. Right? For offers or for requests that are polite, right? So we're going to use would like for offers or requests that are polite. For example, if you are in if you are in the restaurant, I would like a glass of water, please. If you are in your work, I would like to check the sales report. I would like to check the sales report, Sandra. Where is it? Give it to me. Right. Uh, uh, I can ask Carmen. Carmen, I would like to check your schedules. <coughs> Show me your schedules. I would like to check your schedules. Emerson, I would like to check your weekly report. Please show me your weekly reports. So I am asking here, I am asking here, right, a request in a polite way. Okay? It's polite is for the the form educate. Yeah, educate. <laughs> the form educate with a uh, speak or polite. Polite means a uh, cortes. Okay. Cortes, yes. In a polite way, it means that it's in a formal, very formal way that you're going to speak to someone. Okay. For example, with I. I can see I need I would like a report in this moment. I would like a report in this moment. Exactly. I would like a report in this moment. You are using would like plus the noun. And that is correct. That is an that is a polite request. Okay. Okay, very good. Now we're going to continue here. Can I erase all this information, all the answers? Did you check the answers? I have a question, teacher. Go ahead, Emerson. And in the number nine mm -hmm. is would you like to would you like a chocolate or would you like chocolate? Would you like chocolate? 
Would you like chocolate? Chocolate is an uncountable noun. So oh, with, okay. yes, if we want to count it, we say, would you like some chocolate? Or would you like a piece of chocolate on your, on your ice cream? But in this Thank case, you. chocolate is an uncountable noun. So we don't say, ah, Cuando es algo contable, eh, le utilizamos el A. a y cuando es an. no contable, eh, emitimos A. Exactly. Very good. That is correct. Okay. Thanks. A or an equals countable nouns. Countable nouns, and they have to be in singular. Right? Singular. Countable nouns in singular. All the time. Very good question, Emerson. Thank you so much. Any other question, guys? No? Okay, let's continue. Um, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's continue then. We're going to do another exercise right now. Okay. And this is from our book. Let me show you your book right in this moment. We're using the book, right? This is the conversation we practiced yesterday with Mike and Maria, right? And right here, we can see that on page 43, we have the explanation of would like to. This is pretty easy for you. What we're going to do right now is that we are going to imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace that is broken, right? And we're going to write from five, four to five requests about it. So what are we going to do? Tell me a piece of equipment right now that is broken, that you think is broken in your workplace. A piece of equipment like a computer, a printer, a photocopy machine, and air conditioning. Tell me one. Mm. A mouse. Cable. Hmm? Cable. Cable. Like this? Like this, Sandra? Table? Cable. Uh, the Ah, the keyboard. Really okay. Keyboard. 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 The keyboard. Okay. Okay. Now. With the keyboard, we're going to use, I would like to, okay, I would like to. What can you, what can you say with would like? I would like to. I would like to. I would like to change what? my keyboard. I would like to change my keyboard. I would okay. like to buy. A keyboard. Okay. Very good. But remember, it's from your workplace, so you don't have to buy it. I would like to buy a new keyboard. Okay. What else? Your keyboard is broken. So tell me things that happen when it's broken. What else would you like to do with that keyboard? I would like to repair my I keyboard. would like to repair. Repair or fix, teacher. Both are the same. Ah, okay. Yes, they are synonym. I would like to repair my keyboard. What else? What else? Yes, keys, keyboard. Excuse me. Keyboard. The cloud. The cloud. Is the, the one that we use. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To type on the computer. Mm -hmm. So what happens with the keyboard? It's broken. What else? I would like to change my keyboard. I would like to buy a new keyboard. I would like to repair my keyboard. What else? I would like to clean my keyboard. I would like to. Clean, clean and clear. Okay, I would like to clean, clean my, my keyboard. 
I would like to clean my keyboard. Excellent, excellent. One more. What else? What else can you do with a keyboard that is broken? Mm -hmm. the DPS, chain, the piece. Okay. Very good. I would like to change to the change pieces, the pieces of my keyboard. My keyboard. Very nice. So look, we just have one piece of equipment, keyboard, right? And we have five requests that we that we want to make about this keyboard. So what we're going to do is the same right now. We're going to work with one piece of equipment, okay? One piece of equipment, and we're going to write four to five requests using would like to plus the verb about this keyboard, okay? Yesterday, you wrote different information about the equipment and many problems that the equipment have. Just write about one, okay? You're going to do this type of examples. Please take a screenshot so you can have an example, right? And then you're going to start writing yours. Right now, we are going to do this in pairs, okay? Let's do it. Do we understand what we're going to do? No. Okay. <laughs> we are going to work in pairs, okay? You are going to select one piece of equipment not keyboard because we already did this. You can choose computers, um, printers, a cash register, POS, yeah. right? After that, you are going to write four to five requests about that piece of equipment that is broken, okay? Our keyboard is broken. So I would like to change my keyboard. My keyboard is broken. I would like to buy a new keyboard. I would like to repair my keyboard. I would like to clean my keyboard. I would like to change the pieces of my keyboard. These are my requests about this equipment, right? Now, is it clear now, Gabriel? Yes, clear. Okay, very good. Now let's start working in pairs, right? We have 14 participants. We're going to work in pairs right now. And let us go. Let's see here. Okay, let's go please. Select your groups. Select your groups. Select, select, select. Anna, Jennifer, select your groups. Jennifer, select your group. My printer. Okay, luego la otra. I... Tan fácil, lo siento, será que, pero sí es verdad. Uh -huh. sí. Sí, sí, es que lo sentimos, bien. lo siento fácil, porque estamos usando un otro equipo, ¿verdad? Con las preguntas similares al ejemplo que usted nos puso. Exacto. Ok, ok. Bueno, entonces no andamos perdidos. Ok, 
Let me go to another group then. Do you have a question, Celia? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? No, no question. No questions. Okay, okay. So we'll go to another group then. See you now. Antes se le queda. Ese fue el de mensaje. Me voy a otro equipo entonces. Lo veo un momento. Okay, gracias. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Ese fue el de mensaje. Solo abrí la hoja y se lo Seguimos, Perina. I wear like sí. two. La otra sería I wear like a net printer, verde. A net, ajá. Voy a new sí. printer. Sí. Y la otra sería I wear like to repair like my printer. Cabal. You re, re my pin printer okay y la otra i would like to clean to my printer uh -huh. clean clean my printer Y la otra, I would like to the pies, the pies, or the shank, they review, review, or no? Uh huh, uh huh. Do you have questions? Review, uh, review, hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. My. <laughs> Hemos elegido uh, uh, monitor, teacher. Okay, the monitor, okay? The monitor, sí. The screen. You can say also the screen. Uh, I would like to review my monitor. Uh -huh. Yes. The screen. I, screen is monitor, teacher. Yes. Ah, pues Azalia, screen. ¿Qué se me hizo Azalia? Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Ah, ok, ok. The screen <risa> dice... <risa> no se dice monitor, teacher. ¿Mm? La pantalla. It's a screen. Oh. Thank you, teacher. You can... You can... Sería... You can say also monitor. You can also say monitor, but monitor is when someone is paying attention. For example, right now, I am monitoring everyone. Yo estoy monitoreando las personas, monitor. Uh, uh, it's a screen de pantalla. Exactly, exactly. I would, entonces sería, I would like to the new review my My screen. screen. No, dígalo bien. Que usted puede. I would like to review my screen. Very good. Ya ve que se puede. I would like to, to, to clean. <laughs> yes, this will be the screens. Look at this. The screens. These are the screens. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Screens. Okay. Yes. It's screens. Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're Bye, para teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay. As you like. Vamos por la dos. I want to repair, repair, repair. Hello, Ricardo. Do you have a question? Yes. Uh -huh. No sé si usted acaba de ver lo que acabo de escribir, de hecho. Uh, I would like to one that's more big. Será, eh, eh, se puede escribir así. O sea, lo que yo quiero decir es. Es que want and would like to es lo mismo, Ricardo. Ah. Uh -huh. want, o sea que... want is a standard way. Normal. I want a bigger test. I want a bigger desk. But then you say, I would like to have 
a bigger desk. Pero ah, es, sí. ajá. Pero ajá, ¿cuál okay. es el problema técnico con eso? Con que su escritorio sea pequeño. Porque puede ser que tenga muchas cosas o la computadora no me quepa y hay escritores que son bien chiquitos para la, eh, la computadora, este, la impresora que los ponen en el mismo lado. Uh -huh. Ok, but that is not a technical issue. Mm, o sea que tiene que ser algo técnico. Sí, la unidad se llama Tech Support. Y hemos estado hablando de problemas técnicos estos días. Teacher. <laughs> yes, we have been okay. talking about tech support issues. Ok. Ok. Ok, let's try one more time. Well, what are the problems that you wrote yesterday, Ricardo? Ah. What are the problems that you wrote yesterday? ¿Cuáles son los ejemplos que escribí ayer? No escribí ejemplos, estaba desde mi trabajo. ¿Y los de antier? Ah, ahí había puesto que my mouse eh, don't work. My mouse don't work. My mouse doesn't work. Ok, my mouse doesn't work. Entonces, eh, con eso pueden usar para ir haciendo el would like to de los requests. With mouse. With mouse. O si Alexis tiene uno que ya tenga, que ya tenga varios problemas con los que trabajó él, él ayer, con los ejemplos, pueden usar también eso. Y luego okay. hacer los requests. Ok. You have two nice. minutes. Two minutes, ok. Ok. okay. okay. Uh -huh. Technical issues, Alexis. Technical issues. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Hi. Finish. Creo que ya terminamos. Ok, can Yo I listen? Que sí. Can I listen to your examples? Ok. Um, I would like to change my computer. Mm -hmm. I would like to new color in my computer. I would like... I would like... Mm -hmm. I would like to add a speaker on my computer. Okay. Y Daniel, que le diga al otro dos. Okay. Uh, I would like to install a new program. Okay. Uh, I would like to clean my computer. I would like to repair my computer camera. Okay. I would like to repair, repair. 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 My, okay, my computer's camera. Very good. My computer's, my computer's camera. camera. Now, eh, Emerson, read the second one about the paint, painting, the color. What do you say? Uh, como. I would like to, dijo algo de color. New I color, like, le puse yo. Okay, I would like to. Como me gusta. Uh -huh. Me gustaría que. Sería, paint. sería como cambiar paint. el color de la, de uh -huh. la casa. I, Okay, I, I would like, like to paint. change the color of the cover of the of the, the case. Uh -huh. The case. The whole case. I would, I like, to would like I would like to change the color of the case. The protector Okay, so you are going to be number one, okay? You're going to be number one. And I think we're going to go right now. Okay. Okay, let's go. Hey, did we finish? Ya nos sacaron, teacher. <laughs> finish. 
Very well, very well. Now that we finish, right, we're going to listen to some people here. We're going to listen first to Amilcar and Emerson, right? They are going to share with us their information, right? Their answers. Let's listen to them, please. Who would like to start? Emerson and then Amilcar. Okay. Tell, tell your equipment. Okay, I would like to change okay. my computer. Okay. The equipment is uh, the computer, okay? Exactly. Okay. I would like to change the color of the case. Mm -hmm. I would like to add the speaker on my computer. Okay, very good. Continue, uh, Mr. Uh, I would like to repair my computer camera. Mm -hmm. I would like to clean my computer. Okay. I would like to install a new program to my computer. In my computer. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent examples, team. Very good. What about, uh, let's listen to Asalia and Angie. I would like to clean my screen. Okay. I would like to what is the equipment? Screen. What is the equipment? ¿Cuál es el equipo que escogieron? What is the equipment? Our monitor. My screen. My a screen. screen. A screen. Okay. Screen. The screen on the on the computer. The screen yes. of the computer. Very good. Start please again. Okay. I would like to repair my screen. Mm -hmm. I would like to change the brains and color my screen. Y en esta teacher, I would like to open my screen. Okay, very good. Asalia? Only that? Escribimos lo mismo. Okay, the same. Ah, okay. Okay. I will, uh, pero creo que no dijo, I would like to repair, repair my screen. Repair. Repeat? Repair. Repair. Repair my screen. Repair. Very good. Carmen? Who's in your group? Hello, uh, Maria Concepcion is with me. And our equipment is the computer. Okay. So um, I would like to turn my computer off. Okay. I would like to restart my computer. Very good. And I would like to do an update on my computer. Excellent, very good. Concepcion, or is that it? I would like to change to my computer. I would like to buy a new computer. Mm -hmm. That it? Yes, okay. we work together. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you so much. So we have one equipment each. Now, Leida. Hello. Hello. Uh, my equipment is air conditioner. No sé cómo es acondicionado, teacher. Air conditioning, yes, yeah, that's correct. Or you can say easy, AC. 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 Uh, I would like to wash my AC. Okay. I would like to repair my AC. Uh -huh. Very good. Who's uh, next? Uh, estaba con Sandrita. Okay, Sandrita. Unmute, please. Uh, I would like to buy, buy a new air conditioner. I would like to move my air conditioner. Okay, very good. Repeat with me, Sandrita, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Air. 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 Or, air con in or an, 
Easy way in the easy everyday life, we say AC. 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 AC significa air conditioning. Okay, okay? thank you. Okay. AC. Mm -hmm. AC, exactly. <laughs> Very good, Leida and Sandra. I would like to listen. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, did you finish your work, Celia? Yes, teacher. Celia and Pedrina. Mm -hmm. I would like to remember. I would like to change in car today. My printer. Y dejo a Pedrina con las otras dos. De las últimas, sí. verdad, Celia? Okay. Yes, yes. But I would like to change a contingent. I would like to. I would like. I would like. I would like to change in cartons. I would. I, I would like to paper paper my pin printer. The paper in my printer. Okay, very good, very good. Celia, can you repeat your sentences? Because I couldn't hear. Repeat your sentences. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. I would like to revise my printer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would like to change in car tranger, como cartucho, mm -hmm. my printer. The toner. The toner on your computer. Okay. La so, no. okay. uh -huh. Yeah, I would like to put paper on my printer. Paper on my printer. Very well. Very well. Ricardo and Alexis, did you finish your activity? Yes. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes, yes. I, I would like to buy a new mouse. Uh, I would like to clean my mouth. Uh, I would like to check a uh, shelf the mouth. Okay, very good. Ricardo? I would like to have other mouse, uh, other mouse. I would like to repair my mouse. I would like to repair my mouse. Okay, very good. One, one tip for this. Algo que tienen que recordarse. When we're talking about the mouse that we use for computers, right? Mouse, singular, mouses, plural, okay? When we talk about the one that we use for the computers, okay? Utilizamos, estamos hablando de ese. But when we're talking about the real animal, right? We're going to have mouse, one, mice, Many. ¿Ok? Tenemos que recordarnos eso porque no podemos utilizar mouses cuando estamos hablando de animales reales. ¿Ok? Solamente con el aparato electrónico que utilizamos en la computadora. Mouse. Mouses. Ok. Ok. Very good. Thank you so much. Solo me recuerden. Ok. Very good. Let's continue. Let's continue. We're going to work right now with uh with our page 44 let's go to page 44 on the book please on page 44 you have a reading okay you have a reading it says color resolution speed and memory and this is about printers okay this this reading is about printers we're going to read this right and we're going to uh, this is on this page. If we look at the the book, right? We go right here to page forty something, forty four, right? And we we'll read the information about the printer, right? Printer qualities, and then we're going to have four questions, okay? Four different questions. So, this is what we are going to do. No todos van a leer lo mismo, ¿ok? Yo les voy a decir que van a leer en estos momentos. 
right? Not everyone is going to read the same. So not everyone is going to have the same answers. So please listen to me, okay? Listen to me here. With color, color. Angie, Ricardo, Gabriel, and Sandra. Angie, okay. okay. Gabriel, and Sandra start reading about color. Okay. Solo ese párrafo, okay? Okay. Color. Empiezo, okay. teacher. Uh, but not now. Read it for you. Resolution. Alexis and Ana Gabriela. Léalo para usted ahorita, Angela. Resolution. Okay, Alexis. Gabriela and Pedrina. Okay, resolution. A speed. A speed. Let's talk about a speed. Azalia. Concepcion. Celia. And Leida. Speed. And memory is going to be for Carmen, Emerson, let me see, Carmen Emerson, Abidail. In, and that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Did I mention everyone? Amilcar, right? Amilcar, you're going to read about memory. Okay. And that's it, right? Los mencioné a todos, chicos. Uh, yes, Ani. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, yes. very well. Let's just start. Only that specific paragraph. Only that paragraph. Okay, let me know when you finish. I am going to choose one person to tell me what the reading is about. Voy a escoger a una persona de eso que, que mencioné que diga de qué se trata el pedacito que les tocó. O que lo lea en su defecto. Did you finish? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. Gabriel, can you please read your paragraph? Okay. My paragraph is a uh, color. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Well, uh... <laughs> 
color is important for a user who needs to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printer can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate, operate mm -hmm. signs, uh, they use to ink card tricks, one color, carriages, carriages, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain numbers of page. User how don't have a specific need to color and how print a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So we have the color, how many colors we can have two colors, one color and one black, and it's supposed to be more expensive. And we have to change it after a certain number of pages. Very good. Gabriel, a resolution, Gabriela Cordova. Resolution, Gabriela. Okay, uh, print, printer resolution. The sharpness, sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch DPI. Ay, muévame la manita, teacher. Thank you. Most in, inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purpose at 600 DPI. DPI, very good. That's per inches, that's the resolution that a picture has to look perfect or to look blurry, right? Very good, Gabriela. A speed. Uh, with the speed, I want to listen to Concepcion. If you do. If you don't do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. In expensive printer, printers print only about about three or three to six sheets per minute. Color print is slower, more expensive. Printers are much faster. Very good. So here we're talking about not only how many sheets per minute, right, but also that they are very expensive if you want to have a fast printer. Very good. And Carmen, please read memory. Yes, memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out page with large image or table with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. As a large image, very well, very well, Carmen. Now, if we have this, we just read this, tell me the answer for number one, Angie or Sandra, why is color important for some users? Um, Import colors. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, resaltar marks, marks or to highlight, okay, to highlight the colors, okay. What else? Why is color important for so users? Angie? Um um black <laughs> no um, why is is color important for some users porque el color aha uh -huh. uh, because is um 
important para, um, como le explico, para resaltar, o sea, para... What does the reading say? Um, What the, the, the answer is there. Uh -huh. Um, because for to yes. pay for presentation or um, or it makes in the other page, uh, where is color is part of the information. Very good, very good. Practiqueme la pronunciación de esa, de esa oración, ya regreso con usted. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, what does DPI stand for, Alexis? What does DPI stand for? Stand for, stand for, eh, dot, eh, dot eh, per, uh -huh. dot per inch. No sé cómo se, se escucha. Dots per inch, very good. Right, dots per inch, very good. Why are color printers more expensive? Why are color printers more expensive? Eh, let's see, for speed, Celia. Why are color printers more expensive? La respuesta está en el párrafo que leyeron. Ajá, Asalia. More expensive printers are much faster. Because they are much faster, okay? They are faster, very good. Expensive printers, color printers are slower, but if they are fast, they are expensive. Very good. What is something important for something? No, let's see number five, five. Emerson, what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Um, um, One megabyte. One megabyte. Very good. One megabyte. Excellent job. Excellent job. Now we're going to stop here, guys. Right. Well, I'm just going to call the attendance very quick so we can uh, finish the class. Right. Ana Gabriela Cordova de Samayor. Present. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present. Asalia Melanie. Present teacher. Carmen Lizeth Hernández Escobar. Present teacher. Celia Jasmín Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Mirker Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Eh, Juan Josué Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present teacher. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Bye. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. <laughs> Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga. Sandra, I'm here. Sandra Gladys Méndez. Present teacher. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Ok, very well then. So we have actually finished here right, with this act with this class today, right? And uh, we'll see you guys. Presentation. What? ¿Qué fue eso? Present. Oh, oh okay. Well, Jennifer. Jennifer. Tiene problemas con su conexión. Con el audio. Okay, Jennifer. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, so we're going to finish here, guys. Have a beautiful. 
uh, rest of the night. And remember, one person is going to stay with me today, right? If you need some help, Carmen, if not, someone else can stay. Okay. No teacher, I can today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I well, love if someone wants to, to, to participate. To take the spot. Okay. I will stay here in case that you want to participate from 10. Thank you, Carmen. From 10 p.m. to 10.10. 10, I will see you here. Okay. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow, Good too. Good night, see you. Good night, Good night. Good morning. Bye -bye. Good, Good night. morning. Good morning. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Have a beautiful Good night. Good night. <laughs>